so the next part of the project is to actually create a shape file for the grocery stores or the amenities uh, that you want to use as a criteria in your project uh, so I'm going to use the KML methodology uh, create a KML export a uh, KML into a shape file so that I can use that shape file in creating the maps that I want so in order to create the KML I'm going to use Google Maps uh, I went to maps.google.com now I'm going to look for major grocery stores like Schnucks okay once I find them what I'm gonna do is click on each one of them and save to a map I'm gonna save these to a new map called uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna edit this map call it grocery store I'm gonna save it and then I'm gonna come back to my map and click on each one of these points and save those to grocery stores so save to map grocery stores so you can keep repeating this process till you are satisfied with all, all satisfied that you got all the major grocery stores or whatever it is you are doing once you have that you can go back to your places uh, click on uh, grocery stores and this is the critical point you see this this is a KML so once I click on a KML it's gonna download that into my folder so I'm gonna double uh, 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 this can be open in Google Earth also but I'm, I'm just gonna move it to my final project folder for conversion my assignments final project I'm gonna paste it there and now I'm gonna to go to my map I'm gonna click on my search toolbar and click on tools I'm gonna to look for KML okay so the first thing I found is from K from KML to layer so I'm gonna click on from KML so KML to layer and then I'm gonna select my KML which is under my C drive under ESRI press GS tutorial data oh my assignments from project I'm gonna select my grocery stores and I'm gonna save it to my final project folder select final project click add I'm gonna click on OK so as you can see it's already processing uh, KML to layer a geoprocessing tool once that's done you should be able to see your grocery stores okay that's done so so those grocery stores should appear on your map if they don't appear on your map don't worry all you need to do is go to properties and make sure uh, in the layers you select your points make sure the GCSWGS 1984 is selected as your coordinate system and click on OK that's all you need to do okay once that's done we got our uh, schnucks uh, you know our grocery stores I'm just gonna skip ahead and use the uh, real grocery stores file that I created using the same methodology so so these are the grocery stores that I actually created yeah, as you can see you got a bunch of stores here Schnuck shop and save save a lot and Aldi's whatnot straws all the grocery stores so I just wanted to be thorough so the next step is to actually um, create buffers around these uh, grocery stores and also uh, make a selection by attributes for your household median income so that you can make a informed decision where your client can potentially find a new home in so what do I do uh, I go to select by location actually I just so let's take a look at what we are looking for so I want to live in a neighborhood which has a decent level of income so I'm gonna create a thematic map for my median income 
and see what that's gonna look like I'm gonna use uh, two colors so that I can see what are the what are the low income areas versus uh, high income areas so green being high income and red being low income so I don't want I want to ideally stay away from those low income areas so I'm gonna I'm gonna create uh, by location by attributes I'm gonna create a selection set base for my since tracks where my median income is greater than I'm gonna select 35,000 I'm gonna adjust that 30, 35,000 and click on verify click on ok I'm gonna apply so looks like those are the areas I would like to stick to if I want to live in a good area in the city so I'm gonna create a new data set called uh, ideal income uh, tracks once that's done uh, I'm gonna add it to the map I'm gonna make it like a hollow color or maybe put a hatch on it so those are the areas we want to focus on so the next step is to actually create buffers selection go to geoprocessing click on buffer uh, drag and drop your input features which is the grocery stores and store this data as part of the uh, final projects GDB I'm gonna store it as grocery buffer I'm gonna want to uh, create a linear uh, buffer unit which is uh, 0.5 miles from the closest buffer st uh, grocery store which is uh, which would be the ones that I selected I'm gonna click on dissolve type is gonna be all click on ok so once that is processed as you can see I have a new layer with a 0.5 mile uh, radius around the grocery stores and then I'm gonna make them like a like a hollow maybe a red outline so these are the areas I want to stick to at the same time I want to use those areas that have a decent um, uh, income level so I'm gonna go to my geoprocessing I'm gonna say intersection I'm gonna select my grocery store buffer and my ideal such as tracks I'm gonna export them into my as target locations once once I combine those what I would find would be the areas where I want to go start looking for an apartment or so so you see this is a very simple way of creating uh, a site location analysis this is like this is really simple nobody actually goes with such simple models but this is just to show what can be done using GIS and how we can narrow down like a home search or any kind of a uh, site location analysis or site uh, finding a suitable site for whatever you are doing so I, I'm gonna create uh, uh, some maps here so I'm just gonna add a base map from RGS online uh, which would actually uh, be some aerials or something like that so that I can take it to my client and say hey this is where we might want to you know focus our search on so let's go take a look at uh, take a look at some of the apartments so yeah, there you go guys uh, this is what you need to do and you you shouldn't actually select grocery stores as we talked about you need to select uh, your own amenity which could be hospital or a park or whatever it is and then create a KML import the KML and perform the same analysis essentially so I'm gonna make this uh, I'm gonna make this tracks transparent then I'm gonna create some maps add some legend add some text to it and take it to my client and submit uh, don't forget to submit these on the blackboard and have a good weekend thank you